forks. Okay, so how many forks you have on, on a chain? Three. No, it depends on how many speeds you have. That's the answer. It depends on how many speeds you have. If you have four speeds, that means you have what? Two. Two forks. Because every fork is for two speeds. The one you have, the one you guys took apart, how many speeds you have? Three. Five. How you know how many speeds you have? By counting how many sets. So on this train here, how many speeds you have? Six. You have six, because you have six sets of gears, right? Every gear, you have another gear, it's, it's, they call it mating gear. So you have one set here, two, three, four, five, six. Can you guys identify the uh, first gear? The it's going to be always the smallest and the, the widest one on the input shaft. Good morning. So where is, where is the first gear here? Right there, the left bottom right. This one, right? Yes. Yeah. You can, you can yeah. see it is, is, is wider than any one, right? Plus, it's the smallest one on the input shaft. What goes right here? Red uh, clutch. Clutch basket. Clutch basket. People are texting, just pay attention here. So clutch basket right goes right here. That's input shaft. The whole thing, input shaft. And here is the output shaft, right? Can you see that spline right here? So what goes right here is the front sprocket, right? Front sprocket. Uh, later we're going to talk about how we, how we make the car, the bike goes faster, how to make the, the bike uh, give you more torque. So you got to change the diameter of the sprocket. We'll talk about this one later. This is focus on training. Can you see the gears? What's this one here? That's the dog. Oh, yeah, they call them dog ears. Dog ears. Dog ears. I don't know why. They call it gear dog right here. Dog tear dog. Gear dogs. I think we'll stop right here, right? This picture is new, right? I think so, yeah. Do you agree? Okay. So, we saw that. We saw that.